All right, fuckers and fuckettes. Now, um, someone reminded me a while ago. I meant to do a video on Debbie Wasserman Schultz several months ago, um, but uh, she had given a speech, and these Democratic Party members they seem to love using just one little part of that speech when she was talking about the rich need to pay their fair share blah 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 okay well she was talking about when your trucks are going over our roads you need to pay your fair share whoa 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 whoa, whoa. wait a minute woman if a truck is going over the road and it's getting 10 or 12 miles to the gallon and it's paying in excess of 40 cents a gallon road use tax there are millions of trucks on the road by the way um, the average truck pays about eleven thousand dollars a year and my numbers are a couple of years old in road use taxes alone that's not counting state permits and all that happy stuff um, so whether that truck is company owned or whether that is privately owned independent owner operator whatever um, those road use taxes have been paid because the average car pays less than $700 a year and that's based on 35,000 mile per year year um, and I think I had I can't remember if I had 40 or 45 miles to the gallon in there I mean, we just made the mass simple fuck it but still those trucks have paid their road use taxes and considering there's millions of those semis literally <clears throat> on the road um, I mean let's just take 1 million times 11,000 a year uh, oops that's 11 billion dollars right there coming from 1 million trucks um, and there's a lot more than that on the roads plus there's cars on the roads um, I mean, roughly, what is it, uh, almost a quarter of a trillion dollars a year collected in road use taxes, uh, it was like 220 something billion, um, those companies are paying their fair share on that. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. If you're making more than a million dollars a year, you need to pay your fair share. Well, alright, let's take somebody that is making a million dollars a year and they are getting those Reagan era tax cuts breaks um, federal alone they're coming out paying 38 and a half percent of their income um, so at one million that's three hundred eighty five thousand dollars that they have lost to the federal government um, that one percent that's paying all those big numbers or paying for all the government's follies sending people a fucking tax refund that didn't even pay taxes you know I mean you got this earned income credit shit you don't even have to pay taxes and you get fucking money back from the federal government that don't make no sense to me the government's hurting they need to rake in them tax dollars but uh, jacking the taxes up ain't <coughs> ain't the answer the answer is bringing reining in the federal government and the scope of what the federal government does to within its financial means not continuing to grow the government and continuing to grow welfare blah 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 I've already covered all that shit um, but little things like that that come out of her mouth I mean she's an embarrassment to good southern folk everywhere not just Floridians um, and I did read a while ago she's a damn Yankee that's probably why that's probably why she ain't got no fucking brains but uh, you need to pay your fair share if somebody's paying three hundred eighty five thousand dollars a year in taxes they've paid their fair share Miss Schultz or Ms. Schultz whatever Mrs. Schultz I have no idea I don't give a shit either um, three hundred eighty five thousand uh, dollars per year is more than the average 12 people in real numbers the average 12 people make much less pay in taxes they paid their fair share leave them the hell alone how about uh, we do something simpler like uh, hmm, cut out all these welfare programs cut out all this uh, 
send everybody back our earned income credit. I mean, I see people getting six, seven, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars off this earned income credit shit. What the fuck is that? You're going to take the taxes from the people that do make money and then give them away for free to the people that, you know, hey, they're working, they're paying a few taxes. Um, and then you go, bitch, that you ain't got no money. You gonna send ten billion dollars over to Greece, and then bitch, that you ain't got no money. No, 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 no. This shows you need to think things through. Don't just speak on some fucking idealistic platform. Think in actual realistic terms. The people don't want. You know, the American dream is not to do well and support a massive, gov massive government that's invading every aspect of our lives. The American dream is to do well and live off the fruits of your labor. I'll let y'all fuckers and catch later.